if you're having low FPS, FPS drops and stutters in CS2 on your PC or laptop. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can counter all this problem and get best performance out of your PC on CS2. So guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and without wasting any time, let's dive straight into it. So guys, in the first step, we are going to optimize our Windows Storage Sense. So for that, you go for your Windows Search and search for Storage and open up Storage Settings. Go for Configure Storage Sense and turn on this Storage Sense option from here and check mark onto the Delete Temporary Files that my apps are not using. After that, close out the settings and this will automatically clean your Windows junk file after 30 days. Now in the next step, open up the power option on your Windows. So go for again your Windows search and search for power and sleep settings. Now open up additional power settings and now follow the exact same settings also on your PC if you have the high performance. Select out this performance power plan and if you not have the bit some high performance, I suggest you to create this power plan on your PC. Link available down in the description. Go for change power plan settings, go for the change advanced power settings and scroll down and open up processor power management. Click on the drop down, go for maximum processor state and set it onto the 100%. After that go for minimum processor state and offset it onto the 100%. Now in the next step, you need to download these files on your PC, link will be down in the description. Open up the link and that will take you onto my this website where you will find out the same exact article with the same thumbnail of my YouTube video you are watching right now. So once you download these files, now open up the first folder which is the PC registry optimization and inside here you will find out CPU optimization, GPU optimization, scheduling category, FFIO, priority and system responsiveness registry file. You need to install this registry one by one on your PC. I have already installed on my PC and before doing it, I suggest you to create a restore point. So for creating the restore point, go for your window search and search for restore and there you will find out create a restore point. Go for it, go for the configurations and set it onto the 7% and turn on your system protection. After that, hit apply and click OK. Now go for the create button and name it anything like you can type here. Bypex and click on this create button and create the register point on your PC. So after creating the register point on your PC, now it's time for installing this registry. So double tap here, click yes, click ok and simply install all this registry on your PC one by one. So after installing all of this registry on your PC, now close out this folder and go for the next txt file and copy this command from here. That is for the Chris Tutors Windows Utility or Windows Deep Loader tool. So copy this command from here. And now you need to go for your Windows search again and type here PowerShell. Open up your Windows PowerShell as administrator. Hit yes, paste here this command and press enter. Once you press enter, load a few things and here you will go to this kind of the interface of the Chris Tutors utility for your Windows. Now it is very important to use this tool properly so therefore make sure to watch this video. So in the first step here you will find out the install tab and inside here you will find out all the browser, communication apps, development apps, document app, game and every single app you can install inside this tool. So we are not going to do it so simply skip this step and go for tweak step. This is one of the important tools for the optimization of your PC and you need to run it properly. So in the very first step here is the recommended selection tool. So in the first step go for desktop. If you have laptop so go for laptop. So I have desktop so I go with the desktop and this will automatically select all the best settings for your PC. After that here is the dark mode or the light mode. This is again your personal preference. The Bing you can also turn it off. And after that here is the one tweak option. Click on this run tweaks and this will start installing all of these things on your PC. So once all the tweaks are completed, now click OK and here you can check it out here. Here is all the changes which is done on our Windows. After that, now minimize it and now let's go for the next step. So once you set up the settings, now in the next step you need to open up the task manager. So right click on your taskbar and open up the task manager. Now go for the startup apps and make sure to disable all of the startup app which is no necessary on your windows. Here I have the HyperX software so right click here and disable this software on your PC and as it is go for the other applications which is the M that CPU uh, accelerator also disable it and disable the all unnecessary apps from here. After that close out the task manager. Now in the final and the last step we are going to optimize our CS2 setting and for that you need to open up my website and there you will find out all the best settings for your CS2. So here is the advanced video settings you need to go for boost pair, control set it on the enable, wait for vertical sync disable, multi sampling and interesting mode set it on to the none, then global, shadow quality set it on the high, model texture, detail set it on the low, 
the shadow details set it onto the high, particle details set it onto the low, ambition occlusion turn off, high dynamic range on the quality, fidelity FX super resolution disable it and NVIDIA reflex low latency also disable the settings on your PC. I am showing you this on the website because it will take more time in CSGO settings so therefore I am showing you the settings all and you can simply follow it and also you can check it out here the improvement you will get after applying the settings in the CS2. And now just simply one time register your PC therefore all the registry changes will take effect and after that now launch your PS2 and enjoy the best performance out of it. I hope so you love it please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel and till at the next video peace out.